Hi, welcome to this Excel tip. In the Excel tip before, we learned how to use a menu. And in this case, our menu was going to be a grocery list of items. So we can select different fruits here to build our grocery list. And what we want to do is, using those fruit selections, we want to calculate the cost and the deliciousness of those fruits. So how we do this is a formula or function called VLOOKUP. And it's under LOOKUP and REFERENCE under the Formulas tab. So go ahead and click on Lookup and Reference, and let's go ahead down to VLOOKUP. So what VLOOKUP does is it takes a number of different um, arguments to this function. So lookup value is the value we're hoping to look up and find in, a, in, another, in another table. So this value in this case is apples. And then table array is the table that we're looking to um, draw from. And that is this table here. So we're looking to draw the data from this table. Column index number is the column we want to return. So for example, if we put a 1 in here, it would return um, this column. If we put a 2, it would return the cost column. And if it was a 3, it would return the deliciousness column. So what we want to do for this cost is we want to return the second column. Now, this last thing is a very important step, range lookup. So in this case, we can see right here it says, by default, the table must be sorted in an ascending order. So by default, our table would be sorted in an ascending order. In this case, it's not. If it was sorted in an ascending order, it would be apples, bananas, oranges, pears. And it's not because bananas is at the end. So we don't want it to do the default thing. We want to give it a value of range lookup for range lookup. So we want to find an exact match, or if something's not sorted in ascending order. So we're going to put the words false in here, and then hit OK. So we can see it returns the cost of the apples. So that's perfect. So now what we're going to do is we want to be able to drag this formula down. And let me show you what happens when I just drag it down now. So I'm going to show you a common error. So what happens actually is when we drag it down, just like any other equation, the first, the first thing is perfect. It's A2 to C5. But when we drag it down, the second one, the table gets dragged down with it. So we want to basically, in the first one, we want to make our A2 and C5 absolute references. By, again, hitting F4, we can do that. Or we could type in the dollar signs manually. Let's go ahead and enter, hit Enter and then do this. And then the sum is just down here. So I already typed this formula in. It's just taking the sum of that. So now, as you can see, the pears are costing 3, the oranges cost 2, the apples cost 1, and the bananas cost 2. And if I change one of these gro grocery items on my list, um, it'll go ahead and that wasn't a good example. It'll go ahead and change that and update my total. So that's great. Maybe we'll pick, put a few pears in there to get the cost a little bit more. So that's how to use VLOOKUP for cost. So the only thing that's going to change for deliciousness is we still want to pick E2, and we still want to pick from that same, um, that same table. The only thing that's going to change is this is going to be a 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the text of the formula and paste the text of the formula. So when I copy and paste the text of the formula, the relative references don't change, which is a nice feature. So then the only thing that's going to change is I'm going to pick from column number three, the deliciousness. So the same, same thing now is we get the same thing that happened with the cost happened with the deliciousness. So now we can, once we change one of these selections, both the cost and deliciousness are going to change reflecting on this table. So this is really helpful in, in lots of different um, energy aspects and other aspects of Excel as well. So thank you for watching.